Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to prepare a video on ESS job with parameter using the lookup. In my last video I had already shared you that how to create the custom ESS job and how to create the custom ESS job using the parameter. In this video I am going to tell you that how to create the custom ESS job with lookups as a parameter. So first of all I have to go to my Oracle Fusion instance. So I am in my Oracle Fusion instance. Before starting, I just want to tell you that if you had not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe my channel. So in last video, we had created this layout and this data model for the parameterized report. Okay. So in today's video, we will use the same layout and the same data model. So I will do one thing. I will write all the steps which are required to perform this operation on one notepad. So first point is nothing but the create data model and the layout with parameter the second point is test the layout from catalog so these two points are done so we have to do the third point third point is search common then we have to give the lookup so i am on the home page of my oracle fusion instance so here is a drop down icon so i have to click on this icon this list will appear in front of me then i have to select the setup and maintenance after that this page will appear in front of me so here is an one book icon so i have to click on this book icon so this list will appear in front of me then here is a search button or search link i have to click on that link when i clicked on that link it will redirect me to another page so this page will appears in front of me here i have to search percent manage percent percent lookup then i have to click on this search icon so by using this manage common lookup I can create the lookup okay that's why I am searching it so this list will appear in front of you from this list you have to select this manage common lookups so till it get open I will write all the step on notepad so we are done till this step 3 so now that step 4 is create the lookup and lookup values so we are on the manage common lookup page so here i have to create the lookup so i have to click on this plus icon as soon as i clicked on this plus icon this text box will get enabled so i have to create the lookup for po type so i will give the type as xx underscore underscore type underscore lookup in meaning also i will give the same thing and in description also i will give the same thing and here i have to select the module so in module i will give application toolkit i will just tab out and i will click on save button i will also copy name and i will write into the notepad that is lookup type equals to this so we had created this lookup type so now you can see it is saved after it gets saved this plus icon will get enabled so this section is for creating the lookup code so i am just clicking on the plus icon so it will add one line in this section now here is a no data to display so it is adding it will take some time so you can see that this text box are enabled now okay so i will write the lookup code so we have to give the po types in the lookup code so i am giving here standard and for this i am giving the sequence is as a one then here is an, a meaning so i will give the standard po type so this is for the reference of the user in description also i will give the same then i will add the second lookup code so as we know that second is the rfq then we are having in our list plan blanket and so on so we will add only two from the list so second i am adding rfq and here the display sequence is two i am giving then in meaning also i am writing rfq then that is a po type po space type and the same i am copying into the description section and i am clicking on the save we can give number of lookup codes over here but for time being i am just giving the two over there so now it gets saved now i will click on save and close so after clicking on save and close it will comes on this page now i had added the lookup now the next step is add the list of value for that for that i have to search here manage enterprise job so i am writing in short manage ent percent 
job percent and i will click on this search icon okay from this list we have to select this so why we have to select the second one i had already mentioned in my last video so this list will comes in front of you then here is the manage list of value source so you have to click on this manage list of value source for creating the list of values so here is the plus icon you have to click on the plus icon for creating the new manage list of value so here is the application name you have to give the application name as application toolkit then after here is an user list of values source name then you can give anything over here i am just giving as common lookup type then here is the description in description you can give again anything and here is the LOE type so here you have to choose predefined and here is the list of value source definition name so for that you have to give one name that i will write or the notepad so you have to give this that is oracle dot apps dot fnd dot appl core dot lookups dot model dot public view dot common lookup pvo the same string you have to give over here i am just copy pasting it and i will one more thing you have to remember this name that is an a user list of value source so i am just copying that also and i am clicking on save and close so i will note it down on the notepad so fifth step is create the list of value so here is the user defined name so that is here and this is nothing but the value now next step is create the ess job okay now i am on this page then i am clicking on manage job definition and here i have to create one new ess job so i will click on this plus icon as soon as i clicked on this plus icon it will open one page where i can give job details so this page will appear in front of us so i am giving the name as xx underscore po underscore type underscore ess job okay so i will write this name also over here what is the name i am just copying it over here for our reference then here is the name again so i will give it same name then path for path i will go to catalog this is my layout and which is saved as this path there is an nk underscore test so i have to write over here nk underscore test and then i have to give the slash then application in application which application is this we are having the query for the purchasing so i am using here purchasing so description in description i will give the same name of the job only and here is the job application name so job application name is f s c m e s s then job type so this is the bi publisher job type so bip job type then here is then a default output format so i will select here pdf then here is an report id to get the report id so i have to go to catalog page so this is my layout i will just open this layout then here is the option setting in setting you are having job history and from job history here is my report path that is nothing but my report id i'm i'm just copying this id and i will write it notepad report underscore id and i'm pasting it here so my report id is custom this is my custom folder name and this is my report layout name with extension dot xdo so i will copy that over here that is report id now we have to create one parameter because this is the parameterized report so i'm clicking on this plus icon for creating the parameter as soon as i click on the plus icon this prompt will appear in front of us so i will give the prompt for the parameter okay then here is the data type it is string so i had selected string so here we have to give list of value last time we had given the text box now we are having list of values so i am selecting the list of values after selecting list of value it will enable one another value on the form that is list of value source so our source what is our source we had created this source that is common underscore lookup underscore type so i am selecting it i had already mentioned in the name over here also so we can validate it is the same name so after selecting this some more values will open in front of us so here in attribute you have to select 
the lookup code so as soon as you select the lookup code its view attribute and list of attribute will appear here automatically then from this list also you have to transfer this lookup code to the right hand side and then you have to click on save and close okay so we had created the parameter with with lookup code now here is an one icon arrow icon so you have to click on it and you have to click on this link button its name is manage dependencies so we have to click on it so i will write that next step also create parameters and link it okay so this prompt will get appear after clicking on that link button so here is an a by lookup type so i have to transfer this by lookup type to the right hand side as soon as i transferred here some of the values will get enabled it will take some time to fetch the data so you can see over here this values is get enabled in default value what you have to give so on our notepad i had already given here the lookup type name so this lookup type name i just have to give in the default value but i have to pass that name into the single quote don't forget that okay so then i have to click on okay so the linking is done now i have to click on save and close so it gets saved now what i have to do i have to schedule the report so i will write the next step that is schedule the report and check the output so now i am on the schedule window in last video i already told you that how to navigate till this so now i will click on schedule new process to schedule the new process so what is our job name so our job name is that is xxpo type ess job so i will just copy this name and i will put it over here and i will tab it out so i found that ess job so i am just clicking on this xxpo type ess job and i will click on ok then again i will click on ok so after clicking on ok one prompt of parameter insertion will appear in front of me so here is the po type we have to give the po type and when i clicked on this drop down it is showing me two values that is standard and rfq because we had given only two values in the lookup so that's why it is giving me only two first is standard and second is rfq because i had given the sequence like that only so i will select here standard and i will click on submit so the default output format is html so we had not changed it so the output will comes only in html so you can see over here process this i will copy the process id and click on ok now i will refresh the page so you can see over here xxpo underscore type underscore ess job is in the running condition i will refresh it again so it will take some time to complete the job because there are a lot of standard po's into the database that's why it will take some time it is completed now still it is not succeeded so i will click on refresh so now you can see the status is succeeded so i will click on this status this will tell us the job status so i will just click on ok and now here you can see the report so this is a log you can download this log and check it out if you want to check the output here is an output name and here is a hyperlink you just have to click on this default document it will download the document and it will open on the screen so this is all the list of all the po's you can see over here it is the huge list and every po is having the type as standard so this is how you can use the list of values in ess job if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe my channel technical talks with naresh to get more videos on oracle sql plsql oracle application oaf and other technologies thank you